Right? Okay, there we go. I'm, I'll just stand taller. Oh, there we go. You sure? Yes. She's good. I have bad posture anyway. So, it's been a hundred days since we've not had a president, and I was thinking about it. <laughs> the other night on the couch, I'm like, oh my god, I hate you so much. I haven't combed my hair since. It looks awesome. So I was sitting there and I thought, oh my goodness, I have a vision of the future. So this poem is called... I'm That's how you feel, right, Stella? That's a great title. The title's called, And Then They Went to War. No more little movements to release the small angers. There's not much left upon which to glut that sorrow. Only left with bright lights, numbers, and angry faces. Screens everywhere. None of them on. The outlets are bleeding. Nothing makes sense until Google. And the, the people's fingerprints began to talk. And they said, enough, enough. Best be rid of the whole damn thing. That's that. Yeah. So my friends are always like, Stella, why do you write such depressing poetry? Because <laughs> the world is depressing. <laughs> That's one answer. So I said, okay, well fine, give me a word prompt. And they said, congestion. Because they thought they were being clever, like some, you know, boring congestion, okay. So I said, okay, fine, I'll write, an, I'll write a poem for you. It's called Congestion. Congestion is the word I was looking for in the sink this morning as it bent over its cracked porcelain and emptied my lungs of their slow-moving poison, this bitterness close to what slithers on its silver belly under the city through tunnels clogged with your hair and their limbs and all the muted orchestras, and all the Mona Lisa frowns. Squeezed tighter than tight through impossible doors leading to more doors, rushing to nowhere at the speed of silence. So it's, it's just impossible. I can't write a happy song. Sorry. That's that one. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah. Um, I have one more poem. It's called The Dog That Stares. What is that? That's a tree. Yes, but what is a tree? You have to give me more. The name's not enough. It's only a finger that points. But knowing this, still we slip into the flea-bitten habit of naming. And we all become the dog that stares in the wrong direction, hungry and desperate to understand. Thank you, everyone. Woo!